Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I am starting to gear myself up for the new B Snag a Box which I'm actually going to go pick up tomorrow as well as the new Kill Team Box which will be shortly after that. So I'm getting in the 40k mode and I'm going to be showing you a couple of basing schemes that I thought of and at this point I'm actually undecided as to which one of these I'm going to be using for my new orc army. So let me, get, let me know what you guys think and which one you like more. Um, both of these schemes can be scaled up or down in complexity depending on the materials you have at hand, your personal preference as to if you want to go for a more standard look or be extra like me and use a ton of props and little itty bitty things to like create a scene. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. So for base number one, I'm just going to be taking this cork board, and you can get this from any craft store, any hobby store, Target, anywhere like that. And I am just going to be scratching at it and trying to make it look less like it was from a cork board and more just like a piece of stone or rock. And I'm just taking school glue and gluing it down to the base. Once it's dry, I'll be painting it in this German black brown color and I'll be painting um, I'll be painting the bottom of the base that color as well. With that done, I'm taking the technical paint from Citadel, Martian Iron Earth, and I am just placing this all over. Once it dries, it will crack, so we're going to be putting a few things into it before it cracks so that the cracks look more natural. So I'm taking some little bits of gravel here. I just got these from outside. And then I'm going to be taking a little uh, Space Marine head and arm. I stole this from my husband's bit box just for a nice little finishing touch, placing that in. And then I didn't show it here, but once it dried, I actually did glue all of those things in after it had cracked around it. And then I'm just going to be painting all of the little rocks the same color that we used before. Then I am taking this shade of blue and I'll just be painting our little unfortunate friend here. <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking Nuln Oil and giving that a good wash just to start the process of making it look dirty and dead. I take whole red and orange red and mix them in a one-to-one -one ratio and just give everything a quick little dry brush. And by everything, I just mean the stone in the space marine, not the bottom part. Then with strong tone, we're just going to be slapping it down onto the bottom part to create more depth and this will kind of dry into each little crack to draw attention to it and just bring some texture to it overall. And then I am taking this bone color and I will just be dry brushing everything with this. So that's the stone, the space marine, and the bottom and I'm kind of doing this on the bottom of the vase in a little bit of a circular motion you can see here to kind of make it look like it could be wisps of dust or whatever so yeah that is all that I did and then this is the final look next one I will be taking cork as well I decided to do three small pieces and I'm taking this crackle paste and this acrylic ink and I'll be mixing them together this crackle paste is a lot cheaper than using the games workshop stuff it makes the cracks to be a lot bigger so I am just mixing the ink in there so that we have a starting place of brown taking the color flat earth and base coating everything with that color and then I will just be taking the crackle paste that we just mixed up and applying it to all of the areas in between the cork. Just like before, we're going to be dropping some random objects in here while this is wet and then we will glue them after the crackle has crackled. And these are just little sandbags I got from Green Stuff World. Like I said, I'm extra. You do not have to add all of these little things. But I did, I'll link everything I used below as well. And then I'm gonna be making some barbed wire. I also got this wire from Green Stuff World. So I'm just clipping it and then wrapping it around a pencil to make it look like some stray barbed wire that could have fallen off of a nearby fence or whatever. So just wrap that around and stick it right on after shaping it a little bit. And yeah, I just let it sit there. And then I take 
some glue like I said and once the crackle has already crackled it takes about a day uh, that's when I just glue everything because it's already had its little imprint made so it will sit flat on the crackle I take the same color flat earth and I paint all of the stone and then I take khaki and I paint all of the little sandbags and then after this I go in with Nuln oil on that barbed wire to make it look a little bit dirty or actually did a few layers of Nuln oil and then pulled it over onto the sandbags as well just to make them look a little bit dirtier. I don't know that I would necessarily put all of these things on one base, but this is just for demonstration purposes. That was flesh wash, and then I am just putting this all over everywhere. You can't really tell, but the crackle is definitely dry, which is why I'm able to, you know, do the gluing. And I'm literally squirting the flesh wash into the cracks directly from the bottle. I do that a lot, actually. Um, and then I am taking pale sand and giving everything a very, very, very heavy dry brush, trying to pull out all of the texture. Then I am going in with strong tone on the rocks to restore a little bit of their darkness because I think I went too ham with the dry brushing and we want to bring them out again so that there's at least a little bit of contrast on this otherwise very deserty looking base. <laughs> 